Imagine if you lost your baby teeth, but then instead of your permanent teeth growing in, you just didn't have teeth anymore, and a beak formed in your mouth. That is what Lemusaurus had to deal with. Conventionally, dinosaurs would hatch with roughly the same dental equipment that their parents had, just smaller. But of course, noosaurids had to make it weird. From the late Jurassic rock of the Jungar Basin, workers found a baby Lemusaurus with both a beak and jaws full of teeth. They found a subadult with fewer teeth, and it had stopped replacing them when they fell out. The adult they found, which is a ripe old age of six, was entirely toothless. Its tooth sockets had closed over as the beak expanded, and the jaw bones had resorbed or remodeled those sockets. Now the adult and the subadult had stomach stones for grinding up plant matter. The subadult also showed that its teeth had not worn down, so it hadn't been using its teeth very much, it had been relying on its beak. While the juvenile had no gastrolites, no stomach stones, it was relying entirely on its teeth. We have seen in a lot of other dinosaurs how the young animals would occupy a different role in their ecosystem and have a different diet from the adults of their same species. The Musaurus is an extreme example of that. They started out as tiny toothed omnivores and grew up into small beaked herbivores. Ceratosaurs. They're weird. 